Hi, this is uh, Dave Johnston with Day Trade the Markets, and today is Thursday, November the 21st, 2013. I just got filled here just a moment ago um, at this price right here when the market dipped down. Uh, I have my stop in. I just want to get everything set up and then get the video running. So I've got my stop down here. Let me just shift this over here in a little bit uh, just to explain what I'm doing here. Um, this blue triangle, or sorry, blue rectangle here uh, is an area that we had identified previously as resistance. Now the market has rallied up through that area uh, and has spent quite a bit of time signified by this uh, uh, oval that I have here of at least 15 minutes. Um, and that's when I put the order in uh, to buy at 1792 and a quarter. I, you can see it dipped to it right here, did not get filled there, just got filled a couple of minutes ago right here, went ahead and put my stop in down here, uh, and my uh, first objective up here for one point uh, um, profit for half of the position, so you can see I've got a sell limit in there at 93.25. So um, that's really what's going on right now. Now this this blue bar that I have up here at uh, 1794.25 is the current week's high, um, and I believe that was um, that high was formed uh, yesterday. And I, is that okay? It's yesterday's high. Yeah. Okay. And it's not. Sorry, it's not this week's high because we did have uh, that good sell-off on Monday. And uh, obviously Monday's high was, uh, you know, higher than that. It was up around the, I think it was up around the almost 1800 level. So, you know, we do have some room to move uh, should the market uh, pierce through this uh, 1794.25 level. So um, that's really the reasoning for taking this trade. And uh, uh, we, I, I would actually have preferred to see more aggressive type buying through here. Uh, the cyan bars is uh, what we call level one. We have three levels of buying aggression, uh, level one, two, and three, and this is level one. So it's it's not super strong, and you can see obviously the market you know kind of stalled in here, pulled back, had a rally. It made a one tick new high here, as you see, and then came back here, and we've taken out this low by just a tick. So I th I think the market is is poised to move higher. Obviously that's why I'm taking the long trade here. Um, and um, uh, although I've, I do have my uh, objective of just a point here because this is a very tight range. I mean, w we might just hover between this for some time and then maybe even break down. I mean, you know, you never know. So I'm just, uh, I do obviously expect the market to have, you know, some more up to it. Uh, and that's obviously, you know, why I've gone ahead and, and placed this long trade. Uh, we've had some pretty good movement uh, higher, uh, most notably as far as the stock indexes are concerned, most notably in the Russell today. It's been very powerful. Uh, the mini Dow has been trading pretty much like the S&P. It's more or less doing the same thing. So um, I know this is a very conservative uh, or very modest objective on, on the first of just a point, but uh, we're in a pretty tight range here. Um, and I, I really do think that we should get something out of this, you know, fairly quickly. Uh, seeing, you know, it's already it already came down here once before, uh, and did move up, making a one tick new high from from this area here. Uh, and I I tend not to like that kind of stuff when you know, the market consolidates and it goes up and makes a one tick new high and then pulls in. Uh, those are generally speaking not not the best kind of scenario. So, um, you know, I don't really like that. I, I obviously I would have preferred to get filled the first time here, uh, but getting filled the second time here, I you know I, I think it still has some potential. So um, now if the market were to turn around and I think move below uh, where this good buying started, which is you know right, right here at uh, 1791.25, you know, that, that's going to change the complexion in particular if the market moves back down below 1790. Uh, and, you know, that's certainly a possibility. Uh, I'm not expecting it to happen, but if I do get stopped on this trade um, and then it does move below 90, uh, then I think we've got, uh, uh, you know, some sellers that, you know, were, were maybe a little bit slow to come in, but, but eventually did come in. Uh, in a in a pretty strong manner, in, in which case I would you know change my opinion um, as to the relative strength of these buyers. But uh, for the time being, just going to leave it like this. 
uh, we've got our stop in place and uh, I think I'm going to put the video on pause and then uh, um, you know with further developments I'll go ahead and restart the video so we're we're basically right where we entered and uh, I'll pause it now and we'll pick it up shortly okay as you can see we just got filled right here just a moment ago at 93.25 for half of the position so uh, what I will do now is um, obviously I need to reduce the stop down from uh, 12 to 6 um, so we've only got six contracts left obviously you can see the six over here um, and this dip down here hit at 92 right on the dot I'm going to tighten that stop up and put it right below just one tick below at uh, 91.75 so here's the move higher that we were hoping for let's see if it's got some um, you know some strength to it and can actually move uh, well, okay it's it, it has moved above the 94 and a quarter let's see if it can really get some strength I'll just bring this over so we can kind of uh, got a yardstick there to kind of monitor this stuff so um, uh, as I said earlier it was uh, um, all the way up to almost 1800 is where the market had uh, um, uh, peaked out uh, this week uh, this week's high uh, I believe it was on Monday just below 1800 so you know I think we've got some pretty good room to move and now that uh, we we do have a you know some profit in the bank we can and we've got um, a very tight stop there so as a matter of fact I think what I will do just uh, I, I, w I really don't want to see it come back. I'm going to put that stop right at break even. Now that we've got this, uh, you can see this bar that has just come in here. That's uh, a nice level, that's what we call level two buying bar, this uh, lime green bar right here. Um, I would really like to see the market stay above that bar's low. Um, and in a lot of cases, what I will do is, is place my protective sell stop just a couple of ticks below its low. Um, and now that we've gone, you know, above the 94, um, uh, uh, I need to uh, start uh, making sense of uh, where to exit at least uh, the next time. I, I, I tend to like to exit kind of in stages. Um, I usually will exit half of my position um, with a reasonable profit depending on you know what the market's offering so today it was just one point or four ticks uh, and now I've got my stop at break even so I've, I have locked in some profit um, and if this market does get rejected um, I mean you know sometimes in a market as I was saying just a moment ago in the video sometimes when the market goes up and makes a new high for a tick or two it can really attract some aggressive selling um, you know and then you, then you get a pretty swift sell-off so um, I, I don't know if that's going to happen, but just to kind of protect myself, um, I want to, now the low on that bar is at 93.50. So if I go ahead and go a couple of ticks below that, that would put my stop right there at 93. Uh, would lock in another what three ticks? So I mean, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd still be making some profit there. But I think in this case, because we've had a breakout uh, above the 90 to 92 barrier. Um, and I'm looking at the other markets on my other screen here, and I, you know, the um, the Russell, of course, uh, that that's been very very uh, nicely rallying today. Uh, we've got good movement up in the um, um, the mini Dow as well. So I I think we've got some more room to move. I, you know, I, in other words, I'm just trying to assess the degree of opportunity here. And it seems to me that there certainly is, you know, some pretty darn good potential for a good move up today um, and as a result because I've already locked in some profit I think I'll just leave my stop where it is at break even um, and then the next really you know thing for me to decide is where am I going to take profits along the way and um, um, should the market be able to hold above that 94 and a quarter um, I would probably just monitor it initially uh, just with the uh, the bars themselves, but we've had a high so far here today at what uh, 94.75. So we only we've only taken out that high by a couple of ticks. So you know it it still has a potential to to get re, you know to retreat here. So um, it you know I'm just going to let it sit here and we'll 
you know, we'll, we'll see what we get. But uh, that's really my thinking. So I'm going to put the video on pause. Okay, you can see that the market here has uh, moved up. We've made new highs. We've gotten up here to uh, 95.50. And you can see that uh, when the market did move up, we had uh, one, two of these cyan bars, which are uh, what we call level one aggressive buying. Um, that's our weakest um, um, type of um, buying. We've got level one, two, and three. So um, this was a level two over here, this this green bar. So um, it's you know it's good to see obviously some buying coming in. That's that's what we wanted to happen. However, um, it's certainly not uh, moving up there in a you um, know yeah robust way. So what I'm going to do is uh, we've got the stop here still a break even <clears throat> for the second half of the position. So uh, you can see the low here of this cyan bar is right here and that's at a price of 93.75 and our last dip down here was at 93.25 so I should at least move it up a couple ticks below that up to 92.75 uh, it's only going to lock in a couple of ticks but at least it's something um, a little bit more aggressive way to, to trade this or to manage this trade would be to bring this up just a couple ticks below here and put the stop that the low of where these two um, uh, cyan bars occurred is right here, 93.75. So I, I could bring it up another couple of ticks uh, to 92, but by doing that, it would be at this exact low right here at 93.25. So I'm just going to bring it up a couple of ticks. We're going to lock in a you know a couple of more ticks of profit, not a lot, but um, you know at least it's a little something. And uh, um, our, our mini Dow and uh, the Russell are still looking pretty good, um, although they're, they are looking like they're perhaps topping out. At, you know, the, the Russell in particular has had a very strong day already up, and um, you know, it's hard, obviously hard to tell how much more it might have to go. Uh, there's only there's less than an hour to go in the trading session, so I'd like to see something happen here, you know, fairly quickly uh, to move above um, this level. At, at least, you know, now we, we are getting some um, some trade here above this upper bar. Now that was that was the high that was formed just uh, yesterday, and it was really good rejection off of that higher price uh, yesterday when it did get up to 94 and a quarter. So it's nice to see it, you know probed above it here um, and in here and now we're starting to have some at least some full bars above it so you know I think the structure even though it's sort of a grinding fashion is still looking uh, you know bullish that at least the indications are that you know we could very well see more up so I think I'll just leave the stop there we'll put this on pause again and pick it up uh, as the market dictates Okay, just starting the video back up here for a moment just to bring you up to date. You can see the market just dipped down to uh, 93, um, just a tick from our stop. So, you know, uh, maybe we got lucky here and uh, we're not going to get stopped. I, I, you know, who knows? But uh, uh, there's only about a half an hour left in the trading session. So uh, we'll just let it go for now and plan on getting out of this um, before that half hour is up. So anyway, just want to bring you up to date um, and we'll restart the, um, the video again shortly um, if we get stopped or market rallies or uh, markets about to close. Okay, I just started the video back up. As you can see, we just got stopped out right now, right here uh, for just a two tick profit on the second half of the position. So anyway, we ended up with uh, four ticks on one half of the position and just two ticks on the other half. So, you know, not a super successful trade, but uh, a, a successful one. At least we made a little bit of money. Uh, on the second half, I just want to reiterate that um, that second half position, I, I, I was very liberal with my stop on that. And the reason being is that because I had already profited on half of the position, I wanted to give that uh, the market and my trade as much leeway as possible uh, just in case it were really, you know, going to have a uh, have a really good strong move up, um, and you know, did move not too bad. I mean, you know, we were long down here at uh, 92.25, and it reached up to 95.50, so a little over two points. It moved in our favor. Uh, you know, not a huge move by any means, but um, I, I just felt that it was worth it to kind of give it that chance 
for the second half of the position. Um, I, I, I suppose I, you know, certainly could have exited, you know, perhaps one fourth of the position or one half of what I had left. It, it you know, maybe a, a plus a couple of points up here or something like that. But I, I just felt because the breakout above this area here, above the 92, that you know, it really had a good potential, and, and it could still turn around and move higher. I'm, I'm not going to get back on board. There's you know, there's, what, 20 minutes left in the trading session, something like that. So I'm just going to, you know, leave it the way it is. So anyway, just uh, four ticks on one half of the position and two ticks on the other half. That's how it goes sometimes, So, uh, but that's okay. Um, if you'd like any uh, information on, on, you know, our trade, uh, our trading approach, our trading method, our, our trading understanding, uh, our coaching program, our software, anything like that, just, uh, just uh, send us an email to info at daytradethemarkets.com. And, of course, our website is uh, daytradethemarkets.com. So thank you for watching. This is Dave Johnston signing off, and we'll see you again soon.